and the BAFTA for reality and constructed factual goes to Muslims like us. Massive congratulations, guys. Really Thank incredible. You. Thank you. Um, Zora, before the show even started, it generated a lot of anticipation and a lot of attention. How did that feel in, in the build-up to it being on air? Um, well, the thing is, I guess people didn't really know who was on it before it aired, and so it was like watching people talking about you, who, and they have no idea who you are. It was all a bit surreal. I think the whole thing was actually quite surreal. Yeah, and did, and did it kind of... Um, I suppose was it a relief almost when it when it was out there and people could could make judgments or, or just have opinions on something concrete and tangible rather than just second guessing. It really was, and especially because I think the makers of the program were trying to to say that Muslims are not a mon monolithic set of people, and I think it really whether you loved it or hated it, it absolutely showed that. So I think it really really did its job, its job, and it told those stories with integrity. Well, even once it aired, it sparked so much debate, conversations online, in broadsheets, and tabloids. How important is it, do you think, for TV to spark these kind of debates? Well, the thing is, everybody watches television, so it's a great place to kind of reach the masses. So I think um, it's really important. Why was this year the perfect year for this programme? Go on. <laughs> Um, I think right now Muslims are probably under more scrutiny than ever before. So even though something like proving that they're normal or there's a range of them, it sounds ridiculous. Right now with everything that's going on in the world, with hate crimes on the rise, with all the politics, it was the perfect moment to sit down and say, well actually let's hear these conversations that happen around the dinner table that people don't get to see to just prove that there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us about your decision to put Abdul Haq in the house and also <laughs> the reaction that his sort of fellow Muslims and the heartening response that they had towards him in that house? That's probably one for you guys. Probably, I mean, I thought it was important. I thought it was important. If we hadn't put someone like Abdul Haq in the series, everyone would have said, why haven't you put someone in there? And the most important thing about Muslims like us is that Abdul Haq was in there and every single one of the people who was, was also in the house with him challenged him. And every single one of the people who worked on the programme challenged his views and that was sort of essential actually not to pretend that it's not out there to not to pretend that it doesn't happen that, that that's not a that's not a voice within the community but to, but, but to challenge that voice and that was that's what was so important about Muslims like us one of the things that was important about Muslims like us and I think that's exactly why it won the BAFTA massive congratulations to all of you and, and thanks for making time to talk to us thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.